All right, ready to get it on with graphics. This chapter is about graphics, but let's not just talk about graphics. Let's build something. Let's build on what we have learned up to this point and create something from scratch. We're going to make at least a page or two of a coffee table book. Now let's start out here. I'm in InDesign. Now don't forget, I'm not teaching InDesign. I'm assuming you know the program, but when we get to areas of InDesign that really are important to e-publications, yeah, we're going to talk about those. I am in the book workspace. I'm going to go up to the word book and down to reset to put everything back into order. You obviously don't have to be here, but that's where I am. I'm in the book workspace. Let's go up to the word file on the pull down menu and go down to new document. In new document, what is your intent? Digital publishing. I'm going to go iPad on this one. You want to try Kindle or Android? Up to you. iPhone. 1024 by 768 in landscape. So we're breaking tradition here, if you will. Up to this point, we kind of been doing the 8.5 by 11 thing, the letter size page. Now we're going more of an iPad look. I'm going to turn off the text frame, no facing pages. Click OK. I would suggest the first thing that you do is save it and give it a name, and that way you've already got it. And if you have problems, you can always go back to one that you previously saved. It's something you should do up front. Let's go up to the word file and go down to save. Let's call it Coffee Table Book. I'm going to save it in this folder called Coffee Table. That's the name of the folder that's the exercise work folder for this chapter. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because there's another folder in here called Images. And those are the images we're going to use in this chapter, so we might as well put them together. Now, I'm not putting it in that folder. I'm putting it in the coffee table folder. Click Save. Okay, we're ready to get started. Now, we're going to build the bones in this lesson of our coffee table book, but let me explain what those are. I'm not sure about this. It might be more of an American expression. Coffee table books are designed to be laid on the table, called a coffee table, in your living room, where I suppose guests would come in, put their coffee on the table, and basically, if they were bored with your conversation, they'd pick the book up. They're typically mostly graphics, like London Nightlife or California West Coast Sea Shots or something like that, right? There are a lot of photographs, and you kind of thumb through them, have fun, put it back on the coffee table. Now, if that sounds familiar to you in the back of your mind, actually, if you ever watched the television show Seinfeld, Kramer did the whole episode on him making a coffee table book about coffee tables. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's start out by deciding, oh, a general look for the page. At the top, I want the name of the coffee table. Down here, I want a graphic. And underneath that, I want a caption. Let's make this kind of simple. We do have a cover page. We'll talk about that later. Let's pick up our type tool. Already got it. I'm going to go into this corner. Now watch what happens. I like this. When I go into the corner, the cursor changes and you get that little arrow. And what that means basically is I'm snapped to that guide, which is perfect. It's just where I want to be. So I'm going to click and drag and make myself a box that extends left to right within our predefined guides. Now we're ready to type. I'm just going to type in the letters XXX because there's going to be different pages and I'm going to use this as a template for the pages. I'm going to select it. Now, I don't want mini and pro, so let's select that text. I'm going to type in times, letter T, goes right to it. Press the return key, that's the enter key on a window system, sets it. Let's go ahead and change that, and make it bigger. Let's go down to about 48, see what that does. That's not too bad. Let's change from regular to high test. Bold italic. And let's center. That's pretty cool. Let's leave that as it is. Let's pick up this tool right here, which is a rectangular frame tool. And we're going to use that to create what I call an FPO for placement only, place to put this thing. I don't have the graphics yet, but I know where they want to go and I know how big they are. So I'm going to come over here and begin drawing. I know these graphics are perfect squares. I'm going to hold on the shift key. And I know they're around 450, or let's say that's what I want them to be. So I'm going to go down here until I see 450. Sometimes that's easier said than done, to be honest with you. And there's a box, and you can see up here it's confirmed. 450 by 450. 
I'm going to pick up my selection tool. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab it and move it up or down until I see that plus, which basically means I've got it centered. Next, I need an area for the caption down here. So let's go ahead and pick up our type tool again. Now, when I come down here again, I love this. See that little arrow up here again? That means I'm in line with the left boundary in that box, and I do want the caption to be the width. So I'll go ahead and click and drag. And I'm going to go to right about there. Well, let's go ahead and type in XXX. I'm not sure what's going to be in there yet. And this is kind of a template. It's not master page, master template, if that makes sense. Let's go ahead and select that text. And let's change again to, oh, I'm going to go times again. I'm boring. And I just pressed the letter T, went to the T's. First thing was times. I'm there. Let's go ahead and go into italic. Let's change that to about 14 points and let's center it. So we have two things going on here besides our graphic. And we have XXX at the top, nice big and bold. We have a smaller one for a caption down on the bottom. And tell you what too, while I'm here, I'm going to select that box with my select tool. I'm using my arrow key. I'm going to move that up arrow key just a little bit, get it just a little bit closer, something like that. Remember something that's very important, and that is what? Paragraph styles. We need those to really include so that we get the EPUB right. So let's move over our paragraph styles for a minute. Let's start with this one up here. Now, if I double click, it takes me back to my type tool, saves me time. I'm in it. I don't have to have it selected. It's a paragraph style. I'm going to come down here, click New, double click paragraph style one. We'll call this heading. Heading one, that's kind of a Microsoft Word thing. Heading one, heading two, heading three. We don't have to change anything because the style was based on what we had selected over here. The same for this one, just get in it. Basic paragraph plus, we changed it. Click the new button, double click. We'll call this one caption. Makes sense to me. Click OK. Go up the word file, say save. That's it for now. Just want to get us set up. We have a general bones type of book. We've gone through the research. We've looked at, decided what we want. We've made our pages, at least what we think most of them are going to be. We're ready to go to the next step. We've made our paragraph styles. So let's go ahead while we've got this saved. Let's go ahead and quit while we're ahead. You can, if you want to, leave this open if you're planning on moving directly into the next lesson.